Welcome to the Graphisoft ARCHICAD training series. You are watching Volume 1 of the training series called the ARCHICAD BIM Concept. This is hands-on training material created to help you with the modeling and documentation concepts of ARCHICAD. This guide is developed for new ARCHICAD users and prospects, as well as students and teachers. This guide contains a PDF ebook that includes detailed explanations of every step presented, with several screenshots. It also contains a preset ARCHICAD project file to help your learning process. Narrated movie clips, such as this clip, are also included in the guide on the ARCHICAD YouTube channel, providing step-by-step -step instructions for each step of the training guide. The ARCHICAD YouTube channel can also be accessed from the Help menu of ARCHICAD. Enter the name of this training guide in the search field to play the related videos. The full content of this guide can be downloaded free of charge from the learning page of the Graphisoft website at www.graphisoft.com learning. Please note that you should have ARCHICAD 17 or later version installed on your computer to open the preset ARCHICAD project file of this guide. If you do not have ARCHICAD yet, please visit the myarchicad.com site to obtain a free, fully functional ARCHICAD educational or 30-day trial license. Please contact a Graphisoft partner near you to purchase a commercial ARCHICAD license at www.graphisoft.com slash info slash where to buy. We hope you will find this training useful and share the opinion of architects worldwide. ARCHICAD is easy to learn and fun to use. We wish you success for your future ARCHICAD projects. Please extract the ARCHICAD BIM concept zip archive file into your computer. A PDF and a PLA file are created. To start exploring ARCHICAD, we will open an example file first. Let's start ARCHICAD by clicking on the application icon. First, we encounter a dialog box in which we can choose between creating a new project or working on an existing one. We'll do the latter, so we click on the Open a Project Radio button. Then, in the second section of the dialog box, we select Browse for a solo project. Choose Standard Profile for the work environment and click on Browse. In the Browser dialog box, locate and open the NHS Office Project Archive file on the location of the extracted files. If you are running an educational version of ARCHICAD, a message appears warning you that you have to convert the project into EDU file format. In this case, please click on the Convert to EDU button. Since we are opening a so-called archive project that contains all the external elements used in creating the project, we are asked how we wish to handle these elements. For the time being, we ignore this and keep all the project elements in the archive file. So without changing the radio buttons, simply click Open. The project file opens. Let's take a closer look at the ARCHICAD interface. This application was designed by architects for architects. The easy-to-understand graphical interface and the visual feedback will help you to quickly get familiar with the program's capabilities. The central part of the interface shows the floor plan of our project. At the bottom of the screen, a set of icons help to navigate in this view and set the drawing scale and zoom factor. To the left, the toolbox contains all the tools necessary to build the 3D model and complete the documentation. To the right, the navigator lists all aspects of the project. Here we can jump from story to story or to different 3D views, sections, elevations, and details. At the very top, the menu bar lists all the available commands logically grouped. Commands for file operations, editing, and viewing functions can be selected from the corresponding menus. Since design and documentation are separate processes in architectural practice, 
Tools and commands supporting these processes are also located in separate menus. Commands in the Options menu regulate basic settings and the work environment. The Teamwork menu supports collaborative work, and the Window menu sets the visibility of the toolbars and palettes. The standard toolbar contains some of the commands and functions available from the menus. It can be found right below the menu bar and can be fully customized. The whole user interface can be arranged into so-called schemes to fast-track repetitive work, but this is outside the scope of this training guide. The info box shows the current settings of the selected tool or the characteristics of the selected element. Try it by clicking a different tool from the toolbox. Look at the changes in the info box. Changes in the info box are immediately reflected in current settings or the attributes of the selected element. The info box can be resized, similarly to all boxes and palettes, to reveal more information than in the basic settings. Let's take a closer look at the floor plan. From the icons at the bottom of the floor plan, let's select the Increase Zoom icon. The cursor changes to a magnifying glass. Let's draw two corners of a rectangle around the upper right entrance area of the building. After the second click, you will see a zoomed-in view of the floor plan in the main window. Try the other icons for panning, reducing zoom, fitting in window the contents of the floor plan, or switching between previous and next views. There is an even faster way to navigate in all views. With the cursor in the main window, press the mouse scroll button to pan around the floor plan in real time. Remember to keep the scroll button pressed. Rolling the scroll button away from you will zoom in and rolling it toward you will zoom out in real time. In these cases, the cursor position will act as the center point of the projection. This technique will let you move from one location of the floor plan to another very quickly. Try it. In ARCHICAD, every building element is instantly represented in 3D as well. Naturally, this sample project includes not only the 2D documentation, but the entire 3D building model as well. So what does our sample project look like in 3D? The 3D model can be shown in an axonometric or a perspective view. We'll try an axonometric view first. To access the 3D representation of our building, go to the 3D section in the project map of the navigator and double-click on Generic Axonometry. Within the 3D view, the real-time navigational tools Zoom In, Zoom Out, Pan function exactly as on the floor plan. Use the scroll button of the mouse to move from one part of the image to the other. Select a view where the building more or less fills the main window. There are two fundamentally different ways of navigating in a model, Orbit and Walk. Let's see how they work. From the bottom toolbar, select the Orbit icon. The cursor changes to a little Orbit sign. Click and keep the left mouse button pressed and move the mouse around to view the building from all sides. While in the Orbit mode, real-time zoom and pan can still be used. Try them both to explore the whole model. To get out of the Orbit mode, press the Escape key. There is an even more exciting way of getting around the building. In order to see this, let's double-click Generic Perspective from the 3D section of the navigator. In this view, Orbit, Real-Time Zoom, and Pan work as we have seen already. The only difference is that here they can affect the camera position rather than the projected image. Let's try and move around a little. For a different way of exploration, let's get into first-person shooter mode by selecting the Explore icon at the bottom toolbar. The appearing dialog box explains how movement can be controlled very simply to FPS computer games. If you're sure you have the controls right, 
click 3D Explorer and start flying inside the building and navigating around. Walls will not stop you in this game, but to get the hang of it, you should try to use the doors. To get out of the Explore mode, just click into the 3D view.